Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Gospel Girl, and thank you uh, for tuning in. I just want to um, touch base with y'all. Uh, it's been a couple months since I've been on here. Um, I wanted to weigh in a little bit on what's been going on with the election. Uh, it is still ongoing. Uh, the media may be saying that Biden has won, but God is not saying Biden has won. Um, and if you are a Democrat and you are Christian, that means you're for abortion and you're not pro-life. Gay marriage doesn't bother you. Transgender doesn't bother you. If you think it's okay that Biden is president or if you're a Democrat. So... Um, why the church didn't fight like this from the get-go, I do not know. Um, I feel like most of it is, is the church's fault, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I am standing so firm. Um, president Trump will be president in 2021. I'm going to go over a dream that I had after the election um, and immediately after the election, hang on just a second, immediately after the election, when I heard the news and what the media was doing, the Holy Spirit told me, do not watch the media. Do not. And I'm not a big news watcher anyway, because I know that they lie. So, um, I know that if I get on there and I watch it, I will just get angry. And am I angry now of what's taken place? Righteous anger. And we are allowed to have righteous anger. Jesus had righteous anger. Uh, they stole this election from the people, from we the people. You know, um, but I want to get to first a word that the Lord gave me uh, when I was out walking my little dog like I do every day. I pray while I'm out walking. I intercede while I'm out walking. And this one caught me by surprise. This was right after the election. And um, I didn't know what to think at that time. I knew it was a lie. But I knew that uh, something was going to happen. God was going to move. I just didn't know how. And one reason why I think this happened the way it did is I think too many people are praising Trump and not God. And I think God had to light a fire under your all's butts to, to uh, make you realize that it's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that will make this possible. Uh, no one else. Only God can do this. No man can do this. Only God can change what's happened. And I know that he will. I, there's just, my spirit inside me is saying, <laughs> Biden will not be president. He will not. He will not take office. Okay. That's what my spirit's saying. Um, I can't go with another way. I, 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 I am firm. I am standing firm and solid on that. Okay, now that I've spoke my piece, this is what the Lord has showed me. And I haven't had a lot of dreams, um, but I have had two, two, uh, two or three things happen. Um, one day, I was, like I said, I was walking my dog, and I talk and pray with the Lord while I'm talking to the Lord. Hang on just a second. Sorry about that. Anyway, I had to uh, answer the door. A Christmas present came in the mail. Um, immediately after the election, I was walking my dog, like I said, praying, interceding, and everything like that. And all of a sudden, in the spirit, I began to laugh. And I was laughing and laughing and laughing. And then I hear Psalms chapter 2. And let me read this to you. This is the New King James Version. I believe it's, no, this is King James Version. Um, it says, why do the heathen rage 
and the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against the, his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in desertion. Then shall he speak unto them with his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill. I will declare a decree the Lord has said unto me. Thou art my son. This day I have begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, and thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear. Rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way. When his wrath has kindled but a little, blessed are they that put their trust in him. The Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I read that. And I, I was just amazed. I'm always in amazement when I hear, when I know that I hear God and his word and uh, matched with the feelings I had. And I did not know that scripture. I, I don't, I can't memorize scripture like some people can. Um, but I do know that. God is taking care of this, and I have to just stand firm. Another night, uh, I had a dream that I was serving cake. And uh, it was funny because the lady wanted a piece of cake, and she picked a certain one. And there were two of the same cakes. And I looked at her, and I said, oh, by the way, this is angel food cake. And the top of it... Um, had like a reddish pink glaze on it but it was angel food cake and outside I could see two houses and the houses um had the letters Trump in big bold letters the letter T was in red and then the R-U-M-P was in blue now I know what the number two means and the number two means God has established um what God has established, let no man put asunder or something like that. I do know that that is very biblical. Um, um, this month we are having a meteor shower. We are having uh, planets align and touch that hasn't been that hasn't happened since the Middle Ages. Um, scientists are ca calling it, you know, the North Star. Um, it is the star of Bethlehem, a sign of the birth of Christ, coming on December 21st. And the 21st, if you want to go with numbers, uh, 777 makes 21. Um, <clears throat> and I think that's, you know, pretty neat, <laughs> the 21st. And then if you add 2 and 1, that makes 3, the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, Um and then if you turn them backwards, that's 12, 12 disciples. The 21 is an awesome, awesome number um, right before Christmas. And then I had another dream that my mother told me to go outside and look up in the sky. And anytime I dream about my mom, um, I, I take it very spiritual, especially when she tells me something about the Lord. Uh, one day she walked in my home you know, months ago in a dream and said, these are the days of Elijah. And I took that, that that was God speaking to me. Um, God knows how I think and how I'm going to look things up and, and all that. Oh, and by the way, on the side of these cakes that I sold, I forgot about this, was like branded on the side of the cake, the little mermaid. And I couldn't figure out why the little mermaid was on the side of these cakes but then I, I googled it 
and I wanted to know if anything was happening with the Little Mermaid story uh, in recent. And apparently, the live action movie's coming out in twenty one. So, um, just confirmation that Trump will be, you know, twenty one. He will be president. Um, I follow Dutch Sheets. Um, what what he's been doing, um, you know, going and and praying and interceding in the in the important key states. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, just uh, search for him on YouTube, uh, and also uh, he does a give me give him fifteen uh, daily. Uh, that's an app. And what else was I going to say? Oh, and last night I heard a voice in my in my ear saying that we were going to have some earthquakes. Um, now, that could be spiritual. That could be physical. Um, I know that we are having a shaking like no other right now. And I did prophesy that uh, back uh, if you go back on, on a few of my channels, a um, few of my videos, you'll see shaking of the twin pillars um, where I was standing on the face of the earth and it felt like God took the globe and just went, you know, and I mean, and I watched two pillars just shake and shake and shake, but then they stood still and I looked around and I seen everything was back to the way it should have been. Or the way it should be. Um, I know that God is speaking to a lot of people right now. I'm not the only one. Uh, and I know that we are going to have healing in this land. I will not give up. I, um, the prophets were not wrong. They weren't. And remember, Lazarus was dead for four days before Jesus came to Mary and Martha. He was dead for four days and they said, where have you been? But God came on the fourth day because he was going to do something even greater. Not just heal Lazarus, but raise him from the dead. This is the kind of God I serve. I serve a God that raises a dead person from the dead. And brings them back to life. He's brought me back to life. He's given me a brand new life. He's cleaned me up. Pulled me out of the gutters. And made my life brand new. He is the joy of my strength. His joy is my strength. Did I say that right? Um, but anyway, I just... I had to share this with you. And know that, uh, you know... Don't just lay down like a, like a dead duck, you know? A lot of Christians are doing that, and they're like, oh, well, Biden's going to be president for four years. No, this man cannot be president. He cannot. Look at all he want. Look at all they want. They want to make this a socialist country. They'll sell us out to China. Christians, what are you thinking? If you've laid down and said, I just have, just it, and said it is what it is. Get back up. Use your faith. Go for the unseen. It's our time. It's our time. You got to fight. And if you don't know how to fight in the spirit, ask the Holy Spirit how. He will teach your hands to war. He will. He's taught me. And he will teach you. You've got to have faith in God. God's going to do some amazing things. It's for his glory. It's for his glory. He who sits in the lap in the heavens is laughing of what he's going to do. Meteor showers, total eclipses this month. Plus planets aligning. Wow, is the heavens busy or what? Is God moving? You bet. Are angels working? You bet.
Have faith. Don't sit there like a dead duck and not do anything. Pray for our president. He needs strength. But pray that God humbles him if he needs humbling. We cannot lose. This is our time. God bless you. I don't know if I'm going to make another one of these before Christmas or not. Uh, if I do, you'll see me. If not, go back on the Twin Pillars and also the two boats, the two cruise ships. I believe they are for a couple states um, that are being protested. I think one was North Carolina. It popped, it came right in. But Georgia was, I think, the one that sank. And it's going to pop back up like a bobber. So, um, I have all the faith in the world. Do you? God bless you. Yeshua. This is his glory. Praise Yeshua. Praise him. Hanukkah's getting ready to start. Let's just celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. And praise his name for what he's doing. He's going to do something very marvelous. Maybe even on Christmas. God bless you.